All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. So on the table before you, and by the way, this is the new review table. And I'm really excited about this thing because it can move and go where I go, which means I can do tabletop reviews all over the place. Now, the other day we did a, a review on the uh, Air Precision Bolt Carrier Group with a white background. And somebody said, you know what, try doing something on a neutral background. Well, right here it is. Uh, this is neat. This is, I think, some pine or whatever spruce or uh, I don't know maple maple that's what it is and uh, I figured I'd go ahead and try this out so you guys let me know if you like this background or not but in any case one of the things we wanted to do I'm getting ready to do a review on an awesome rifle by JP and uh, it's chambered in a very unique round and again for a gas gun and in doing so uh, the rifle itself came with this guy right here this is a scope mount by JP. Now, this is a great scope mount, but because, well, I want to go ahead and put this bad boy on it. This is the, of course, you know, I'm a real big fan of these guys over there. Primary arms. This is the Platinum 6 to 30 with the Athena BPR reticle uh, in mills. And I, I will tell you this watch this. Look at it, zero stop. I cannot wait to get this guy zeroed in. In any case, the idea is that we're going to go ahead and put this thing on the rifle, zero the rifle. I'm going to chrono the rifle and at one, we're going to zero it at 100 yards and then we're going to hit it with the laser, with the Kestrel, apply ballistics and cold bore a 1000 yard target with this thing. A one MOA target or a one and a half. Anyway, hell, let's just see if we can hit it. <laughs> the goal is to do all this. But in doing so, I'll get to the subject. This guy right here, this is Warren Tacticals. This is a QDX scale mount. In other words, the QDX scale in 34 TW, 34 millimeter. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Warren Tactical stuff. I use these on my competition rifles. Uh, they're awesome. And a reason why they're awesome is because they have what I call the steel inserts. So, I wanted to go ahead and put this scope on this mount and uh, the reason I'm doing a QD attachment mount is because I'm going to relocate it from rifle to rifle to rifle but I really like these mounts. Uh, so I really appreciate these guys actually sent this out for me to review and test. So we're going to start that. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, Ugh, hit me right in the face, and see what we got here. There we go. Now, I hope the lighting is good enough for you guys to see what's going on here. But you can see we've got a skeletonized top ring. There's four screws for each one. Now, the cool thing about these screws is that they have steel inserts inside the bottom part of the frame. So you're not taking a steel screw and actually screwing it down into aluminum with the potential to uh, strip out. So those steel inserts give you a nice solid uh, contact. Also, you don't use any kind of... Uh, what do you call Loctite. <laughs> Any case, these uh, do have the QD attachment points here. As you can see here and here. And here's one of the cool things that I actually do like. They are positive. Um, this is not going on a competition rifle where I'm going to be dumping it in a bunch of buckets or whatever. So I'm not concerned about that. But I do want something that's solid for taking it on and off. And in most cases, a lot of times I'll be using American Defense. Now, check this out. These things, the knurling on the tightening screws right here, watch and listen. They are ratcheted. So when you loosen and tighten these things, there's a positive. So once you don't have to worry about detent a pin or anything else. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm digging this. Digging it a lot. I dig it a lot. So anyway, uh, what I want to do uh, is go ahead and put this mount the scope in here and I'm not going to be able to level it up because my uh, Arasaka leveler will not work with this just because of that ledge that's right there. So in any case, um, open up the instructions and the most important part is we want to get the torque specs and for the cam screws it's uh, 25 inch pounds and of course we're going to be using the Borka tool set and this is it right here. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to show you how I do this real quickly. And a lot of people are going to balk, but I always use a, an electric screwdriver just to back the screws out because I ain't got that all day to wait on these things. So we go ahead and fit those in. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. 
Now, one of the things I want you to show you and look up in there is you can see the steel inserts right there. Let's see if we get that to focus in. Pretty cool. And one of the things, ah, before I did that, I wanted to because a lot of people are concerned about weight. I'm not necessarily concerned about weight with this guy, but let's see how much this booger weighs. Eight point four ounces. Now, how does that compare with the JP six point nine? So you're burning up a couple ounces there. So now, what we want to do is, uh, again, like I said, I'm going to have to wait till I get out on the range. But what I would like to do is just demonstrate to you guys one how this looks on that scope, and it looks good, just like that. We'll put this in here like that. And we take our electric, we're just going to tight push those down to where they just barely are making contact. And then we'll actually torque them down with the Borka tool set, which was given to the channel by the good guys over there at uh, Borka and uh, a good friend of mine, X Ring. Man, doesn't that look nice? That is a good looking scope mount. And if you're in a competition world, you're gonna see Warren Tactical all over the place. Let's go ahead and torque those down using this thing right here. And then the torque specifications call for 25 inch pounds, which kind of puts this thing in a week, all the way down here at the bottom, right there. Oops, wrong one. Put that bad boy right there on 25. You guys can see that. I kind of dig the angle of that light. It's in front of me. Tighten it up a little bit. We're going to take a T15, which is... And again, these things are 25 inches, pounds. That's a that's a good one, man. That's a... Uh, so we'll go ahead and just get that going. There we go. Let's go ahead and cross over. I want to tighten them equally. Hold on. There we go. All right. There's 25 there. Just like you would the lug nuts on a car. You're going to alternate on either side. If I can get the guy, there he is. Okay. We're going to chase them down. Let's see if I can do these on the top side here so you can see what's going on. We're going to go ahead and pre tension them down. Okay, reset our wrench here. And what we're doing is we're just applying, it's like uh, leverage power. There we go. There we go. Come on now. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're done with that. As you guys can see, what a great scope mount. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, the cool thing is, is they do make a, a wide variety of other scope mounts, dope card mounts, levels, that kind of thing. And we're going to be trying some of those out on the future. But uh, this is the one I wanted to start with just because... Uh, this is going to be awesome on that rifle. So anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the review table here. And, uh, well, if we need to make some changes in the future, uh, we will. But if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who fight for our constitutional rights on a daily basis. Not those slabs down there. Those guys uh, at the uh, Virginia House who are trying to take our rights away on a daily basis. Code Boy 32. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.